the PGA Championship winner, Brooks Kepka. Let's take a look at his move. From the setup to the takeaway, I want you to take note of how significantly close his club face is relative to his spine ankle. You won't see many players with much more of a stronger club face than Brooks. I also want you to take note of how much flex he holds in this right leg here up to the top of the backswing. You'll see that, that his left wrist... Once he gets to the top of his backswing, it goes into quite a significantly bowed position. And now what that is doing is it is causing that club face to close quite significantly. And you can see in there he has quite a strong club face, meaning the club face is pointing more towards the sky. And even at the top of his backswing, look at how much knee flex he still has in that right leg. And you'll notice that his right hip pocket hasn't exactly rotated around his body that much. And what that is causing is his arm structure to be quite vertical. Now relative to a lot of tour players, you'll see that Brooks's arm structure is quite close to his neck or head there. Now what he needs to do in order to match that up in his downswing is to not rotate a hell of a lot. Otherwise, these hands would shoot too far out to the right. Also in transition, I want you to take note of how well he shallows this club. So shallowing meaning that this club is going to lay down in a horizontal fashion. So we get into this position here, starting to shallow very nicely. Once again, still in a shallow position. And then next frame here into a nicely shallow position. Now he's doing that with a combination of his forearm rotation and also his external rotation of the trail shoulder, meaning that the right shoulder works in close towards his body there you can see that the right elbow joint in this position here gets quite in front of his body meaning that that club is going to get a bit more horizontal and you'll notice that he doesn't have a lot of hip rotation into the impact position there and that's because of his hand depth if his hands were a bit but more behind him then it would give his body permission to rotate because when you rotate your body or your hips and chest then the club works out to the right in this direction here so for Brooks's case there's no reason for him to try to rotate too much because then his club path would get too far to the left so with the lack of rotation that he has into this impact position it's a reason why he's able to hit really great golf shots and win majors like he does and you'll see in there that it's quite a passive release because of how strong that club face is. There isn't any need for him to rotate the right hand over or flip it at all because otherwise the golf ball would go way too far, way too far to the left. But overall, Brooksy does a really great job of understanding how his golf swing moves and how his body works 